Hey friends, it's Allison. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing something really fun and something that I have never done before. And that is a light up card. So when I saw this stamp from House Mouse, this is from the House Mouse Holiday Collection. It's called Marion Bright. Um, and I saw the three lights. I thought this is the perfect time to use these easy lights from Pear Blossom Press. They've been sitting in my drawer for probably at least a year. And so again, perfect time. So I'm getting ready to stamp my image and I'm stamping it kind of off the top edge. So it looks like the lights are you know coming from the top. And there's these this part of the stamp that kind of gives, there's like these little dotted lines that give the look of motion to the image. And for whatever reason at the time, I didn't want to stamp those. So all I'm doing is taking some washi tape and covering up those little dotted lines. And I chose like some really unsticky washi, so it was not cooperating very much. But take whatever tape you have, cover whatever part of a stamp you don't want, and then take your ink and ink up the stamp. And obviously when you go to stamp, make sure you take the washi tape off first. So you'll see me do that here. And because this is a rubber cling stamp, I'm going to get a really great image without having to re-stamp. Um, rubber stamps just can give you a lot more detail than clear stamps. So they're just really easy to stamp. So now I have one of the sentiments from the set. And in order to, because it's a cling rubber stamp, it's hard to see the placement. So I have this piece of acetate in my Misty. It's, it's a thick piece of acetate from packaging. And then I can just kind of test out the placement of the stamp before committing to it. So I can stamp right on the acetate, and this is thick acetate. It's not like the packaging from a stamp set. I've learned that, that those don't really stay in even when you use the magnet. And I can even use my T-square and make sure that the sentiment is nice and um, even and lined up. And then I can commit and stamp it on my panel. So off camera, I have colored the cute little mouse and the lights with my Zig clean color brush markers. So there's a watercolor markers. And by the way, this was Bristol smooth paper. And here is the little easy light. And you'll see the three little lights on the end there. And it's really simple. There's just this little slot that you place the battery in. And then that little red dot on the back of it is what you press to work the lights. So in order for the lights to show, you need to cut obviously holes in your panel for where you want the lights to show through. Now, this is my first time making a light up card. I really wasn't sure how big to make these holes. And I was a little apprehensive to just cut a hole for the entire light bulb. Um, so I, what I chose to do was just make these small little triangular holes kind of right at the bottom of the tip of the light bulbs. And so I will do that for all of the lights and I'll try to make the holes, you know, about as even, evenly sized as I can. Now, one thing I learned on this card is I should have made the holes bigger, but but I didn't and you know every card is a learning process so the holes are ready and now I want to stamp the word press on my card so I'm figuring out where I'm going to place this little battery pack and obviously where the little red button is that's where I want to stamp the press and I'm using this little stamp set from my favorite things called interactive labels and I have had this stamp set in my stash forever. Um, so I'm excited to use it. And this little one that I chose just says press. So now I know where the battery pack is gonna be and I can just stamp this. Now when I have a little tiny stamp like this, I like to use ink cubes. So I have this black, black ink cube from My Favorite Things. 
and super easy. And again, I'm a double stamper, especially with clear stamps. I just stamp it twice. All right, now I have a piece of white cardstock. It's a, roughly the same size as my panel. And I'm going to mark just little dots where those holes are that I made. And the reason I'm doing this is I watch YouTube videos too. <laughs> I learn everything that I know from other people. So uh, what I'm going to do is ink the same colors as the light bulbs behind where those holes are. Now again, I did not make my holes big enough for this to even matter. But at the time, I wasn't really, you know, knowing that that was the case. So it doesn't matter that this ink blending is not even. I just wanted to get it roughly in the same spots as those holes. Now, when I did that, I noticed that when I made those little holes with my little knife, there's some kind of white edges to the paper that I just need to clean up. So I'm just taking my zig markers, the same colors that I had used to originally color the light bulbs, and I'm just kind of touching up those. And you'll see, maybe you'll see what I'm talking about right there. I'm just cleaning up those, those little areas. And so now that I've done that, we can kind of start assembling. What I'm doing here is I'm taking a small piece of vellum and I'm cutting into three pieces and I'm just going to cover those holes with vellum. You don't want the lights to just show through the hole. You want to diffuse the light. So I'm just simply gluing vellum over those holes and this is just plain vellum. And now what I'm going to do is place the battery pack. So to adhere the battery pack to the card, I'm just using some score tape. And this is wide score tape. You don't have to use wide score tape, but I happen to have this tape. It's like a little bit less than half an inch. And again, I'm going to look at where I, I stamped that press. And I can actually see through the card, uh, you know, hold it up to the light. And I can see where that press is. And then I can press down the battery pack. And I'm going to slide the battery in, test it, make sure everything is okay. And now all you do is you just take each little light. And again, there's three on this particular one. Um, Pear, Bottom, Pear Blossom Press also makes lights that are just one light. Um, they might have others that are two lights. I'm not sure. but So I'm just taking scotch tape and I'm... I'm putting the battery, or I'm sorry, the little light bulb right over the hole, and I'm just putting scotch tape over it. And it's as easy as that. And now I'll take the second little bulb. And all of those wires, you know, you don't need to worry about it. They can kind of be bunched up. But I, I do kind of test it as I'm going along to make sure I'm not doing anything wrong. Now, the one thing you do want to make sure of is be careful of the wires coming out of the battery that you don't pull too hard. You know, you don't want those to come loose. So now with all the loose wires, I'm just, again, taping it down with more scotch tape. And there we go. It all works fine. The lights are all still lighting up properly. All right, so now I am taking some foam tape and you'll notice my foam tape has gone yellow and I think I've mentioned this in previous videos I am so just kind of irritated with this foam tape but I just you'll see it's getting to the bottom of the roll and I'm just going to use it up this is how I double up my foam tape I just you know fold it on top of itself and then I cut that folded end off and you want to use double up doubled up foam tape for this just so that you know, you don't want that battery pack to press unless you want it to press. So you need your card lifted off the back enough. Now there is some foam tape that is thick enough by itself and you don't need to double it up, but this is what I chose to use. So I'm just going to 
add foam tape all the way around. You don't want to put foam tape in front of that little battery pack. You don't want it to inter interfere with the battery pack. Um, I also did not place foam tape on top of the wires. So you'll see I just kind of am placing it all around. And now I'm just putting it on top and pressing it. Now I'm noticing my light bulbs look white when I press it. You don't really see that color behind it. So I thought, well, maybe if I color the vellum. So I'm coloring the vellum and I'm just using alcohol ink markers, my Copics. And I thought, well, it's worth a shot trying to color the vellum. And so now I'm just pulling off the release tape for all of my foam tape and placing that panel on the back. And here I've turned the lights off and you can see how that lights up. And I, I just think it's so cute. All right, I have a dark green card base. This is an A2 side folding card base. And I'm just gluing this onto that base. And this is a really simple design, very clean and simple. I am going to add just some shimmer pen. This is from Tonic. And I'm just going to make those little light bulbs nice and shimmery. But again, it's a very clean and simple design. And I, I like that because whoever receives this card is going to be so surprised when they press and see the lights. I think it's going to be so unexpected and so fun for the recipient. And here I'm just adding some black pen to the nose. I was hoping to add my black glaze pen, but I couldn't find it. So here is the card, and I just think it's so cute. Now, I did take the black pen, and I added those little things around the lights just to, I don't know, add a little bit more detail, the little lines around the light bulbs. And that's it for me. I Again, this was my first time using these lights, and I'm so glad I finally did it because it was easier than I even expected it to be, and I look forward to making another one. Uh, thank you for visiting me today and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.